What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. And this week in news, Six Views Uncut alumni Ramon is maybe able to give us an update on what's going on with his arrest or his recent arrest, as well as we love hip hop alumni, Young Pro SGK has been hacked and we wanna give a quick warning to anybody out there who he's may have been messaging. We got all that, plus the new Canadian music videos coming at you. This is News From The Six where we hit you with that real Toronto shit and I'm your host, Friday Ricky Dread. Now before we get into anything, I need you all to do me a quick favor and hit that subscription button as well as the notification bell next to it so you know when we're dropping new videos. And as you can see, we're dropping new videos every single day. I also want to give a quick salute to Gutsy Guts. Welcome back. Look out for episode 56 of the Six Views Uncut podcast available right now. Gutsy is back to business, back on the microphone, doing his damn thing. But... This, right, this video that you're gonna be watching right here is gonna be a list of all the new Canadian music videos that have dropped within the last seven to 10 days or so, all 500 views and up, and we need you, the people, to let us know who is going to be the number one video in Canada this week, all right? So jump in the comment section below, comment gang strong, and let us know who is your number one video in Canada this week, who's your favorite artist, or what's your favorite song. Let us know in the comments below, and we'll be able to tabulate it and let you know on Thursday morning on the world's most smoked out podcast, the We Love Hip Hop podcast, who is going to be the number one video in Canada this week, all right? Also, we're gonna be going through those news stories, so let's get to the news stories, or before that, let's get to these music videos, new Canadian music video releases. Let's go. God pass on my window tenant. All gas, no brakes, I'm sprinting. Baby, give me edge, get mind over it. We're in the walk in the pot rack. I mean, a baby, you're cut to the brick. I'm serving a titty. Me, I'm the trending topic. Now you can stop this whole gang. Been on, yeah, we've been popping. I want a milli one. I be moving out with some crip niggas, but I know some super blouse. Call my. So we pull up on the block and cock it back and reload No panicking, little bitch Check the scope I got blocks and I've been handing out assists If I try and sh** And niggas they seem like American idols They try to read that Bible And they go to church but they ain't no church Wait, I ain't going like that Like shit at me, I'ma shoot right back How you get white shot like that, bitch? On the report I heard they cheap but they begging for clout Yeah, mm they ridiculous. Tim moving, we got a trap jumping. Real niggas, we turn on to something. Fuck the place up when we walk in the phone. That's a kiss. If you seen me off of cannabis, you probably think we for madness wasn't this Nigga to his neck until that body stink. They told the bossy that he wildin'. Time to calm down. I, I said, baby, I ain't a trick and you are a tree. And if you don't fuck with my team. All right, man. Yo, uh, special guest to this new segment we got here, Six Views Uncut alumni, Ramon Online. Mr. Ramon, what's going on, man? Good, man. I'm here. Just, you know, trying to stay positive. You know what I mean? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You know, I'm back on the squad, <laughs> back on the team. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about all that stuff after. But, man, I seen this this um thing that you posted on your story a day ago. I'm black with rage. I want you guys to understand, man. I'm just in Calvary's family. They have fun. Averro's talking about the period. Averro's talking about the period. They came and tied the nut after I identified myself. They came here and assaulted me. They didn't do anything. They didn't even do anything. What did he do? What did he do? In your name. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yo, good luck, bro. Nothing. They said no or on your page a day ago. So I wanted to hit you up and just get more information on this because it seems like this is a recurring thing for most of the artists that are in Toronto now where they're just getting harassed or arrested for whatever reason. So can you just kind of take us through the video and what happened? Um, It's very simple, man. <clears throat> you know, it's evident that, you know, people got their privilege out here and I don't want to make this a white or black thing, but it's evident, you know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, you can see in a video what's going on. It's one thing if I told you it happened like this, but there's video footage where you guys can see, you know, how black men have to live in this world. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much I was minding my business. I was at a swarmer spot, you know what I'm saying? After the club, 
I'm in Calgary, by the way. Okay. Um, yeah, I was eating a swarma and some girl was there talking about her period. And I'm like, yo, shorty, respectfully, I'm in, you know, I'm eating my food. If you could just, you know, keep that over there, you know? Like an adult, you know, adults communicate, you know, respectfully, you know, voice their, their concerns and whatnot. So that's what I did. And um, she's like, fuck you. She just went, she just turned up. So then I was like, yo, dirty girl, yo. Oh, listen, move your stinking rink. You know what I mean? I started turning up on her because I'm like, yo, I was never coming at you like that. So mm-hmm. I don't know if the if if you know she felt I don't know, but I never ra- I never raised my hand at her. I never said I was gonna like do anything illegal to her. We were just arguing back and forth, you know what I'm saying? So long story short, in the middle of the argument, the cops rushed in like SWAT. Mm-hmm. I, God strike me dead if I'm lying. Cops rushed in like SWAT. They put my face all on the wall, arresting me. Don't resist, don't resist. You know it's COVID right now, so I don't know whose hands have been on the wall just completely violating me digging her hand into my pocket, taking on my wallet. I had some cash on me, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, yo, what the hell is this? I've never been through this shit before. I've, I've had racist encounters, mm-hmm. but this tops it off. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, long story short, when the witnesses were outside, as you can see in the video, they're, they're basically saying, yo, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. Let him go. What's going on? And yeah, I guess- in the second day, video, the second video that you showed after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I'm sitting down while while I'm detained and the, the, the officer's like, oh, you have some warrants. I'm like, no, I don't. Like, like, why are you lying for? You know what I'm saying? But it's like they had nothing on me. They had to make up shit. So, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't have nothing on me. I'm a law-abiding citizen. You feel mm-hmm. me? And they had to let me go. But it's so, the fact that they put me through that. That's the issue here. Yeah, yeah. Really quick. So did they charge you with anything? No, nah, they didn't. They were, gonna, they were trying to charge me with disturbing the peace. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But once they realize that they fucked up, then they let me go. And it's like, if you're going to arrest me, why don't you arrest the girl that initiated the entire argument? The hell? If if you guys, if your grounds are to detain the people in the situation, don't you detain both parties? Isn't that how this shit goes? If you're going yeah. to detain? So why mm-hmm. am I the only one? Why am I the only one getting arrested for? And I'm the person that's defending myself. Why am I getting arrested for without getting a chance to identify myself Mm-hmm. And, and you telling me what I'm being arrested for. You're supposed to read me my rights and tell me what I'm being arrested or detained for. None of that happened. So I'm wow. suing them. Okay, okay. Now, yeah. let me let me play devil's advocate a little bit here because you are from Toronto. You're not in your city. Right. You see a female Caucasian of any race, maybe. Right. Don't you think maybe you should have been like, you know what, let me just ignore it and keep it moving just Why? because... Why? Because you don't want that. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't want but a situation it's, it's, like this to happen. You're absolutely right. But the, the issue is why? If she's so comfortable that can do that, why can't I be comfortable and do that? Yeah, I'm black. Yeah, yeah I get all that. But this is mm-hmm. the problem. Why aren't we equal? Aren't we support? We're here talking about being equal and this and that. Why can't I say how I feel back to her when she wants to disrespect me? Why can't I do that? Why do I have to bite my tongue because it's, it's a girl and she has privilege? Why? That's my yeah, point no. here. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I'm just, I was just playing devil's advocate that, like, yeah, yeah, it should be fair, but unfortunately, in the world we live in, we know, fam, like, especially a woman, a Caucasian woman, at right. that, like, I don't want to be like whatever, but you know, but women do have a little up. bit more rights than than men. You got to admit it's fucked up, though, bro. Like, they never, like, fam, you have to understand. These guys literally ran up on me and just violated me. There was no, like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to understand this is this is deeper than. You know, the typical story of, oh, maybe you should have done this or that. This is like, yo, a human being's rights were violated in a country that we stand on that shit or at least pretend to stand on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is just happening. This is happening after we found out about those natives that were slaughtered and they built a school on top of it like nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? This is yeah. this is coming out. This is coming after all of that. So it's like I, I, I put that out there and I'm, I'm thankful that that kid that I, I supported his business, he was selling popcorn. He, he, he recorded the video because he's like, yo, what's happening? And after they released me, he's shaking. I'm talking to him and he's shaking. I'm like, yo, listen, kid, don't worry. Just know that this world is not what you think it is. But the kid is shaking while I'm explaining to him because he's thinking everything is cool and he thinks blue is blue and yellow is yellow, but he doesn't know that it's, it's, it's smoke and mirrors in this world. You know what I mean? I just hope that everybody that's seen that video can see what we have to go through. People that look like me have to go through on a daily basis. All I want is awareness and a little bit of bread off of that. That's it. <laughs> Run me my but, um, I get I get paid they, for my shows. Did they did they take you um to the police station or did they just deal with yeah. everything at the matter right there? They dealt with it right there. Wow. But 
So you're telling me you guys couldn't have dealt with that before humiliating me and making me look like some some kind of scrub? You couldn't so have you, dealt with that? You couldn't def- in the video you heard her, oh, he was engaging. We tried to defuse the situation. We're defusing it. So why isn't the girl in the cop car then? Why is it just me? I wasn't, yo, know, listen, brother, I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't even yelling at the shorty. I was it was like, like, yo, move from me. Like, yo, what's wrong with you? Yo, move from me. You know what I mean? One of those. Like a, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, you're dirty. Why are you talking about your period in a food establishment? That's gross. No bratopsy, fam. And that's all it was. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm like, okay, so what? You can be nasty and I can't call you out for being nasty and I'm going to get arrested for it. But then you don't get arrested. And she's there smirking when I'm arrested. I'm like, yo, how does your privilege feel? Because that's what this is right here. That's wild, man. And like, you, real you're glad that you got it on, on film. What's the next move from here for regarding the situation? You did say that you're going to be... I went to the summer spot the next day to get the, the video footage of, of them arresting me. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, they said that the camera footage didn't work in the store, but I have more than enough footage for grounds to, you know, lawyer up and, and see what we can do. But I'm not, I'm not just letting this go because I, I, I was violated and in, in a country where they say we have rights, those rights were violated. So if they illegally did all of that, I need to be compensated for that. I need to be compensated for that. You can't just arrest me make a mockery of me in front of the public. Like I'm some, you know what I'm saying? Some, some, some murder or something like that. And, and you guys are doing your job. You guys aren't doing your job. You guys are, like, you guys are literally acting and moving like rookies. People are here robbing banks, killing people, shooting people, this and that. And you guys are here trying to arrest me and humiliate me for, for arguing. Not even like I pushed anybody or, you know, for mm-hmm. arguing the officer in the video. Oh, he was engaging. The girl said, yo, but the girl started at first. Officer said, but well, just he because didn't someone have starts to. it. Yeah, I, I heard that Excuse part. Excuse me? So what happened to the girl that started it? Why isn't she in a cop car waiting until this de-escalates? So it doesn't make sense, bro. How yeah, do you feel about the situation? That's what I want to know. How do you feel about it? On a I real mean, tip, I want to know. As a journalist, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, just give the side. I just think it's messed up, obviously. I just think everybody obviously needs to get their fair rights. It doesn't matter black, white, Spanish. Everybody needs to be treated fairly. Like, that's it. Like, Thank you. And that's all I'm asking for, bro. I'm not asking for people's sympathy to feel sorry for me. I'm not asking for all that. I'm a big man. I'm a grown man. I don't need your sympathy. I need you to watch the video and understand the reality and the climate of what we're living in right now. Mm. It could have went left. Let's say we're, let's say this was in somewhere where it's like, you know what I'm saying, open carry or, you know what I'm saying, one cop was trigger happy. I could have been a hashtag, bro. Yeah. No, you know what I'm saying? Real. Just that's like real, that man. because of some stupidity for arguing for arguing, for using my vocal cords. <laughs> well, I'm glad, well, let, let's, let's, you know, glad none of that happened and you're good that you're safe and you know what I'm saying? Regardless, keeps us up, of keeps us updated on this situation. Really quick before you go, you know, you just dropped your new single. Let's talk about some good stuff with Beanie Man. Positive. Yes, How's sir. that feedback been? Honestly, brother, it's actually pretty crazy. Like, people are turning up to this record, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thankful he gave me a shot. You know what I'm mm. saying? Technically, it's his record, to be honest. But oh, I'm just, shit. I'm just, yeah, I'm just thankful he gave me a shot. It's going crazy on the radio. We premiered it on Flow 935. Yes, shout out to yes, Peter Cash. Yeah. Shout out to Blake Carter. Um, yeah, and it's going up, man. We we just pushing it. It's international. You know what I'm saying? And let's see what happens next, man. Video coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? T that you already know. All right, man. Appreciate you, Ramon, for coming on and giving us a little update on that situation, man. And yeah, we're definitely going to talk. And yeah, man, just be safe out there regardless, bro. Of course. I'm, I'm, my flight's tomorrow. I'll be back. I don't think I'm coming back here unless it's a tour or something. <laughs> I, I ain't coming back here for a little while, man. But good to see that you're back, man. You know, streets missed you, bro. All right. Don't know. Yeah, and we're going to talk still. We, we got some stuff to put together. <laughs> All right. Hello Friday for me, bro. All right. Don't know. I don't know. Easy. That was an exclusive news update from your boy Ramon, and that's news from the six. Now, quick news story that I want to bring to y'all attention. I received a DM from We Love Hip Hop alumni, Young Pro SGK, asking me about doing some kind of a financial investment. Now, in the DM, when I responded, I said, well, send me the link. Or the beginning of the DM actually said, I put $3,000 in and made $30,000 back. 
Now, f- at first, you know, no, distri- no disrespect to Young Pro. I know he's been making money. He's doing his thing. He's been doing his thing with the music thing. But I was like, a $3,000 investment? That sounds like a lot. You know what I'm saying? Even for me, myself, who I feel that I, you know, I've been pretty much into this financial game. I'm like, uh, $3,000 to make $30,000? That sounds like a little bit of a scam. However, I asked them, you know, in the DMs, send me the link so that I can, you know, do my research. He sent me the link to a, or the page sent me a link to another Instagram page of which I clicked on. Nothing has happened to my personal account. And this is my Friday Ricky Dread account. Nothing has happened to my account as of yet. But I then afterwards received a text message from Young Pro notifying me that his account has been hacked. So if you receive any messages from Young Pro SGK asking about an investment, disregard the message. He has a new Instagram page up. And from this here, this may be the first of many of Toronto rappers or rappers that are over here in our whole GTA that might start getting hacked, okay? So look out for that. Look out for your account. Always make sure to keep your account super secure. You know what I mean? Update your passwords regularly, as well as making sure to get your, make sure to have your two-way authentica- authentication um, service on, on your Instagram, as well as any other social media apps or, you know, email addresses, anything of that nature that holds things that are valuable to you. All right. So that's just a quick tip that I have for you there and salute to Young Pro SGK once again. That's all we got for news today. Hope you enjoyed the news stories. Let us know in the, in the comments below what other things that you want us to cover over here at News From The Six. Big salute to Gutsy Guts. Welcome back once again, okay? Make sure to hit me up on our on our social, or hit me up on my social media platforms, Friday Ricky Dread, that's D-R-E-D. And for everything else, make sure to hit us up on our website, welovehiphop.ca. This is News From The Six, where we hit you with that real Toronto shit, and I'm off this. Deuces.